Hello and welcome into the 3D. This is the first video of the year and today we are creating some glowing particles using the Nitro system in Unreal Engine. If it's your first time on my channel, I have lots of Unreal Engine tutorials waiting for you and if you want me to keep posting videos on this channel, you can support me by buying me a coffee from the link in the descriptions. First, let's go to your content folder, right click and create a Nitro system. You can also create it under effects but I will use this one and then in this new panel select the first option, hit the next button, scroll down, make sure you are under the templates and select the fountain template. Click the plus icon and hit finish. Great, now we need to name it. I will simply call this particle ns and ns means as you can guess Nitro system. Now Double click on this to open the system and if you are not familiar with this, this is our graph editor. We will use it a lot. This one is our timeline. It helps us to control the animation so you can stop or play the animation by just using your timeline. Then we have the preview panel on the left. It is showing the current stage of our emitter inside the system but as you can see it is not clearly visible. So before we start, let's go under window. Let me see. Oops, that was my mistake. So go under window and enable the preview scene settings. Under this panel, go under environment and disable the show environment option. We have disabled the background, but still because of the contrast, it is not clear. So click on the color and make the background color a bit darker. That's great, we can keep it like this and let's move on to the next step. This one is the emitter that controlling our current particles. Inside this, let's select the emitter update and make sure you are on the selection panel. Also, we can close the preview scene settings since we don't need it anymore. Go on the selection panel, select the emitter update, and then change the lifecycle mode self to system. Then we will play with the spawn rate. Let me show you what spawn rate does so you can change it depending on the effect that you want to create. If I make this 400, it will spawn 400 particles. If I change this to 2000, it will increase the number of the particles, so I will keep it at 600, but you can make it any number that you like. Now we are done with the emitter update, so click on the particle spawn and let me explain the features by using examples. If I set the lifetime of the particles between 0.2 and 0.6, it will create this kind of effect. But this is not what we need. Let's set the minimum to 2 and maximum to 3. Now we have something like this. Then let's click on the color box and change the color to any color that you like. I think I will go for a nice blue color. Once you are happy, press OK. Great. Scroll down and make sure the sprite size mode set the random uniform. And basically, this one is controlling the scale of the particles. So if you set this something between 20 by 40, the particle size will be huge. I will set this back to maybe 2 by 8. Nice, this is what we need. Now let's scroll down and find the shape location. Under this, make sure the shape primitive is set to sphere and let's see what sphere radius does. If you set this one to 1, the spawn area will be small, but if you change this number to 100, it will increase the radius of the spawn area. So, I want you to keep it somewhere between 10 to 20, but I will set it to 20 and it should be fine. Finally, find the add velocity settings and let me explain what these numbers does. If I set the velocity somewhere between 1 to 10, 
the particles will no longer have enough speed to go high. So let's set the minimum to 300, maximum to 700, and you will get this effect. It looks great, and I think we are done with the particle spawn. Now let's go to the particle update, but this time click on this plus icon. By doing this, we can add a module to the particle update, and with this module, particles will be able to collide with the other objects in the world. So without this, your particles cannot collide with the objects. Search for collision and leave the settings as it is. Great. As a final step, we will add one more module, but before that, let me show you what we have created. Compile this, add your net system to the scene, and let me place it. Okay, so currently this is what we have created so far, but we can push this one step further. Go back to your Nitro system and click on this plus icon next to the render section. Search for light and get the light renderer. Add this new module and change the radius scale to 5. Then Let's go to the color add, and because I have a blue color, I will increase the Z to something around 10 or 15. Compile, and let's see. As you can see, now we have a nice blue light coming from the particles, and it does look cool. If you need a red color, instead of Z, increase the X value. Let's compile and you will see that now the light effect has a red color. So it is depending on what you want to achieve. For me, I will keep the Z value at 15, compile, save, and let me get rid of the lights in the scene. So we can use the particles as the main light source. That was it for today, and if you liked the tutorial, please comment down below, and don't forget to like, and subscribe to my channel for more content. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.